Hello everyone and welcome to my complete guide for the Unreal Engine 4. In this course, we'll take a look at the most powerful engine on the market that created many titles in the video games industry, including the monster that we no longer present, Fortnite. In this course, we will see together a lot of things like installation and what you need to know about the different versions of the engine, basics including interface, camera movement, object manipulation, and Unreal's folder logic. The modes, including vertex painting, which allows you to paint a textures directly on a model, the different type of lights, and what you need to know to avoid performance loss. Materials, from standard to complex, object in the video game, the blueprints, Unreal's own visual programming, characters and animations, two standard AI, first that follows the player, and the second that makes random patrols. The heads up display or head with two progress bar, a pause menu with different options, vehicle from rig to a playable actor, particles with cascade and the new Niagara plugin, the terrains where we will create together a matter with automatic foliage placement and a logical textures hierarchy. Finally, we will create a small natural scene and we will place our trees using the native procedural tools. To give a better rendering to our scene, we will add a volumetric fog, enable dynamic indirect light and adjusting our post process. For a better result, I will show you how to create your own cube map or HDR with the NVIDIA's plugin and so. My goal through this guide is to allow you to see, first of all, the main lines of what the Unreal Engine 4 can allow you to do. Secondly, I will let you guide future updates of this course with your feedbacks and your choices about the categories you want us to deepen. This approach allows me to answer the longevity of this course by adding more and more content, but also the assurance that the new parts will be approached with a real interest. If you like this program and you also want to take over the famous Unreal Engine 4, then see you soon.